Carol Thompson, and I want to welcome you to At Home with Carol. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope you'll stay for the duration of the video. It's a continuation of the previous video. Now, if you're brand new, I hope that you will subscribe and turn on your notifications so you'll know next time I upload, okay? All right, let me get started because I want to try to keep this at about 10 minutes. All right, last week I talked about the 24-7 Pencils by Urban Decay. And I said I was going to swatch the pencils, both the eye and the lip, on white paper so you can get a really good idea of what they look like. So here we go. This is how it looks, if you can see the entire page. I don't know if I'm cutting it off or not because I can't see. But here they are. Okay, so I'm just going to do a close-up of each one. This one is bittersweet. And you can see, I mean, the colors are spot on when it comes to the color on the pencil. So that's bittersweet. This one is frenemy. I don't have any, right? <laughs> I really don't. I don't think I do. If I do, will you guys let me know? <laughs> okay, got that one. And then this one is PDA, okay? And the last one, if I were to wear red, this is what I, this is what I would wear. I, I don't wear red. It doesn't look that good on me, but this is a beautiful kind of a rosy red with a blue undertone to it, okay? So that's the eye pencils, excuse me, lip pencils, and I'll show you how it looks when they're sharpened. And these are 0 0.04 ounces. Standard. <laughs> Standard size pencil, I think. These okay, moving on. Let me show you the eye color. Let me show you what I've got. Can you see what I've got on? That is um, demolition. See the eyeliner? There it is. <laughs> so let me show you what it looks like. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here it is on white paper. All right. I don't think these colors are on the pencil demonstrate what they look like. This look at this color. Don't look at what's on here. Look at this. That's what it really looks like. Love it. It's a dark, dark brown. Okay, and the next one is Rockstar, and it's a dark purple. These are all mattes. And the last one is Sabbath, and it's a dark blue. Hope you can see that because I, I can't see through the paper. Pretty. Okay. I want to mention to you that it's probably been, I don't know, six, eight months ago, maybe even longer. I happen to be watching a video from somebody here on YouTube um, that had used these pencils. And this person said they're not smudgeable. Well, they really are. They really are. You're just not, I think, using the right tool, maybe. If you get a smudge brush, I use the Sephora number 11. I mean, there are hundreds of them out there, right? This just happens to be my choice. They last forever. I, I have no problem with Sephora brushes when you buy them individually. Now, if you buy them in a set, I've had a problem with them, but not the ones purchased individually. Mm -mm. And they come with their own little cap, so they stay nice. So I think the problem is maybe if you can't smudge it, it's because you're not using the right tool but uh, they're very easily smudgeable. I do my line and then I take this and on the top line, just very gently, just back and forth to smudge it in. It works great. Okay, and what I used to sharpen these with is an Urban Decay. I used to have a Sephora one and I bought this instead and it works beautifully. And you know, it has little, this little lid pops off and you just empty the contents. You see that? And you just empty the contents. 
good guy. Okay, um, so now, very quickly, I mentioned this Sephora brush here. This was the other one that Amy Miranda recommended. It comes with its little, this is what I was saying, that they each come with their own little case. Although this case does not stay on very good, I must say. It really doesn't. But all the others do. They clamp, they have double clamps on them. But this is it. This is the one I was telling you about. And it is 53. And this is the foundation brush that Amy mentioned. Number 53. See how thin that is? I mean, it's beautiful for putting on. Oh my gosh, it feels like a dream. I absolutely love it. Thank you, Amy, so much for recommending that. It's just really a beautiful, beautiful brush. So I think that's it. I really do. And I've had fun making this for you. And I hope that you got something out of it. And I just wanted to make sure that I did my follow-up video as I promised I would do. If you have any questions, please, please ask. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to know if you've tried these pencils uh, and what you think of them, what your experience has been. I really would love to hear from you. So without further ado, I will say goodbye for now until next time. So as they say here in the South, y'all take care and you guys be safe too, okay? Alrighty.